What's up guys, this is KD Cloudy and I've flashed quite a bit of custom ROMs in my life, specifically on my Nexus 5 and it has all come to this. These are the top 5 best custom ROMs you can install on your Nexus 5 right now. Now all of these ROMs are good in their own ways and they are ranked accordingly uh, based on my experience so this is a completely totally subjective list and your top 5 custom ROMs will be different from my top 5 so you just need to keep that in mind. But yeah enough of me talking around. Let's get right into the list. So at number 5, we have Paranoid Android or AOSPA. This is probably the fastest and the smoothest custom ROM I've ever used on my Nexus 5. The performance is just on point, the battery life is just on point, it has quite a bit of features which are useful, uh, it doesn't have any bloatware, it also has SangeMod theme engine built in, uh, it's one of those uh, last custom ROMs to have a uh, theme engine built in. But the only problem or downside with Paranoid Android is that it's based on Marshmallow and not Nougat. So if you want Nougat on your Nexus 5, uh, probably this is not the ROM for you. But if you're still uh, like fine using Marshmallow and you give performance a uh, higher priority, then uh, Paranoid Android is your best bet for a Marshmallow ROM. Now at number 4 we have AOSP 7.1 Hammerhead and this is probably the cleanest Android Nougat ROM for the Nexus 5. Now this is the closest thing you'll get to stock. I mean if the Nexus 5 were to receive the Nougat update from Google, it would probably look a lot like this. I mean, the experience doesn't make you feel as if you're using custom ROM, it's stock everywhere with some handy dandy features stuck here and there. And also if you want to sell your Nexus 5 at any point, you can probably just load this ROM up and trick people into thinking that this is stock Android Nougat. I'm just kidding. Now at number 3, we have Resurrection Remix for the Nexus 5. and in this entire list, this is the one which has the most amount of features. It has stuff from ambient display to pie controls to customizable status bar and notification trays, all sorts of stuff. There are a hell lot of features to the point that you won't even use half of them. But I really like that it's embracing the fact that it's a custom ROM and just takes the entire notion of custom ROMs and goes all in towards customization. I mean, you can literally control each and every part of your user experience and that's exactly how custom ROMs should be. So if you want a lot of features, then Resurrection Remix is the way to go. But the performance and the battery life are just sort of above average, but if you want features, again, Resurrection Remix, you can't really go wrong with it. Now at number two, we have Lineage OS, and this is the fastest and the most long-lasting Nougat ROM I've used on my Nexus 5. The performance, the battery life is on point, the features, well, you get the traditional signage amount features, nothing too exciting and there is also a bunch of bloatware, not really a big deal, you can just clear them out. Root isn't out of the box, so that's another problem. So yeah, if you really want a ROM which just works and performs really fast and gives you a good battery life, which is just properly stable and you don't really care about features that much, uh, you can't really go wrong with Lineage OS. But lastly, the first position goes to Dark ROM. Now this ROM is great, certainly my favorite because it balances all of the pros I mentioned in all these ROMs and just nails it. It has good battery life, it has pretty good performance and the features are straight up purely from the pixel. It has no bloat and also a very clean experience straight up from the pixel and it has all of the pixel features, it has a couple of features from Mod. Now the performance on the dark ROM is certainly not quite at par with something like Lineage OS or Paranoid Android but it's the clean experience for me which matters and that's why it tops the list. Now I've certainly heard a bunch of uh, complaints and issues with this ROM especially during installation like uh, the keyboard won't pop up where in a, during the setup wizard so you just need to uh, take care of a couple of things. First that you shouldn't really install the CAF version. I know I've uh, um, tested the CAF version in my review but you should not do that because it's malfunctioning lately it is not as good as it was before so you can just uh, try out the regular variant which I'm using on my Nexus 5 right now and it's holding up really well. And secondly, the G apps. You can use open G apps for all the other four ROMs mentioned in this list, but specifically for the dark ROM, you need dark G apps, which is uh, specially built by the developer of this ROM. So yeah, that's how you get G apps to work. But once you get all of those things right, you will definitely enjoy the experience of dark ROM, certainly like I have been enjoying it. And yeah, that is why Dark ROM tops my list of the best custom ROMs for the Nexus 5. Okay, now quick honorable mentions, uh, Dirt Unicorns, pretty sketchy name, AOS IP, AICP, and Bliss ROMs. And these are four custom ROMs which I haven't really tested out personally, 
but from what I've heard and read, these are shaping up to be good, pretty good ROMs for your next 5. And yeah, that's basically it. Those were my picks for the best custom ROMs for your Nexus 5, including some honorable mentions. Uh, links to all of these ROMs for download and links to all of the reviews are in their description. And comment down below what is your favorite ROM uh, for your Nexus 5. And even comment down below if you want, if you have a custom ROM which you want to be reviewed by me on this channel, you can definitely leave me a comment. And if you want any sort of any sort of help uh, regarding flashing on custom ROM, you can definitely hit me up via DM or even in the comment section. But yeah, that's been it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.